Hey everyone, uh, I thought I'd finish up the leather mask series or tutorial by doing the final part which is airbrushing the mask. I want to show you what I use. Um, a lot of people can paint them by hand. I prefer not to. I started that way and it left a lot of brush marks. It was very unclean and not very good blending of the, of the paint and leather. Um, you can buy uh, these things here. Uh, I'm sure they come in all kinds, but Koba colors, um, and they're made specifically for for leather paints. And you can just brush them on, and they bind to the leather. So if you want to use that type of material, and you feel like you want to hand paint it, and you don't feel you could do airbrushing, that's your alternative. Um, acrylic binds to it just fine as long as you seal it in. The only problem is that um, the acrylics can crack on the leather. Um, I personally prefer my handy dandy badger airbrush and uh, you can connect it to um, tanks of air little handheld tanks of air but it's not cost effective you're talking about ten to twenty dollars per little tank um, and it doesn't last very long um, I did buy this here it's a model 82 um, air compressor very portable I take it everywhere with me and it does everything I need and I have constant air um, this is like $150. Badgers are probably like the best. You can get them for $99. Bucks. Um, very, very good things. This was like two, three hundred dollars, I think. So um, eBay is probably like the best place to find one of these if, if you're looking to get an air compressor. If you're starting out right now, I'd probably tell you to uh, just get uh, something easy like this, and then get the cans for now until you're comfortable. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, it's plugged in and gives you air and then as you pull back it opens it to paint. Um, very simple. It's either got a pour spout that you can connect here and you pour in the paint and go or um, you can do what I, I'm going to unconnect this here for you. Um, do what I do is I buy these little glass jars and then these, uh, these are like two dollars and these adapters here are uh, $3.99 and you can cut them to fit, uh, you cut the two and uh, put it to fit and all you do is you simply slide this in here, make sure you have a good fit and you're good to go and it pulls out the paint and you're off to go. Um, I keep like 10 of these things um, and I just fill as much paint as I need or I think I'm going to need um, which is always too much and I go. Um, and it's just quick switch out, um, empty the gun, put in the new paint. Um, a couple other things I want to show you. Uh, you can get these at, at AC Moore. Sorry. Distracting. <laughs> you can get these at uh, AC Moore. Uh, it's the creative um, airbrush. They come in pearlized, regular plane. You can also buy the, um, the sealant in it. Um, these are good. They also sell them. Um, these here, nailies, because a lot of people use airbrushing for nail artwork uh, for ladies. So um, these are pretty expensive. These are like four bucks a bottle. Um, I, should, I used to buy these in the beginning um, like crazy. I would save up my pennies when I was younger, and, and this was the way to go because uh, I didn't know better. Now, I did have it here somewhere. Uh, Liquitex puts out uh, airbrush medium and basically what this does this turns um, any acrylic paint uh, into airbrushing paint so basically uh, you buy something like this it's like a dollar or some of them are 59 cents um, depending on the brand um, you add this half and half um, you want a really like liquidy consistency for airbrushing because anything thick paint like this won't won't actually flow through the airbrush um, add this to this and you have airbrush paint and it didn't cost you anything this this lasts me for over a year and I can make tons of airbrush paint um, and same thing for these these are 59 cents a dollar so uh, Liquitex airbrush medium and regular acrylic paint and you're good to go what else what else what else what else airbrush 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 spray 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 I'm gonna attach to this probably the airbrushing of this mask and uh, 
I'll probably just show you um, pictures of the final results. I'm going to add some detail work to it, um, some hand painting, and, but that'll probably just be um, basic pictures. Um, but I'll show you the airbrushing here and then you're pretty much to go. After that, you can create your own mask and detail it any way you want. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So watch for part four. It's going to be right now and then we'll talk to you soon.